Regular viewers of my channel might know that I absolutely love Kiago Higoshino's books, especially Detective Galileo series. So I was really excited to find out that there is going to be a new one translated this year. Did Higashino's latest Silent Parade live up to my expectations? Is it worth a read? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post videos related to books. If you are new here, then do subscribe to my channel for new bookish videos every week. In today's video, I am going to review Silent Parade by Kiago Higoshino. Silent Parade is the latest release by award winning Japanese author Kiago Higoshino. Well, the joy of reading Kiago Higoshino book at the very start of the year and there too a Detective Galileo one. Well, this book is number 9 in the Detective Galileo series, but this is only the fourth one to be translated into English. But you can easily get into the story. This book can be perfectly read as a standalone. However, I do wish that the publishers release the translated versions in the same order. I love Detective Galileo books. These are very unique with twisted plots and this one was no exception. Detective Galileo is actually not a real detective or a part of any police force. Instead, he is Professor Yukawa, a physics professor with an incredibly sharp, observant and analytical mind. His good friend, Chief Inspector Kusanagi with the Homicide Division of Tokyo Police often turns to Professor Yukawa for help in particularly trying cases. Silent Parade examines two similar murders separated by a time span of 20 years. A gifted budding singer, Saori Nimiki goes missing and her remains are found three years later in a burned out house. The house belonged to the stepmother of Hasunuma, the prime suspect in the murder of a 12 year girl 23 years earlier. Hasunuma was released at the time because he remained silent throughout his questioning and his trial. This left the prosecutors with only circumstantial evidence which the jury found inadequate. He is a leading suspect again but is released by the police. He again refuses to speak during the police interrogation and appears to be getting away with the murder once more. In spite of a lot of circumstantial evidence pointing towards him, he is not prosecuted. The entire community, Saori's family and the regulars at the family's restaurant are immensely frustrated with the outcome. A few months later, on the day of the local annual parade, Hasunuma is found dead in his room and the most obvious suspects have solid alibis. The novel is a quality police procedural. It has a clever plot with so many suspects with a motive to kill the victim. It is definitely a page turner. And the different narrations and points of view spice the things up. It introduces so many characters, both from the past and the present case. But as they are listed in the front of the book, it is easy to refer and it helped a lot. It is clear from the beginning that Hasunuma had something to do with both the murders and one could figure out who killed Hasunuma, but we don't know exactly how. Motive is never the question, but how was it done? I was curious to see how the crime was committed and how the mystery would unfold. The whole thing is a bit complicated and remains unclear until the final chapters of the book. And just when you think that you have figured it all out, a wild twist is thrown in that will blow your mind. What I really loved about this book in particular are the interconnected murder cases. We have a murder case from Kusanagi's past where the culprit gets away with his crime due to the flawed justice system. And then we have a similar case in the recent past linked to the same killer. And then the murder of the killer in the present. It is sad to see that criminals seem to find loopholes in the legal system everywhere and use it to their advantage. Seems like India isn't the only country where criminals make a mockery of the legal system. I also enjoyed learning more about the everyday life, social life and customs of the Japanese culture as well as their legal system. As the translator of the book, Giles Murray has done a fantastic job. I also enjoyed the pacing of the book, a slow burner that lets you become totally absorbed in the tale. It is a very well written murder mystery with unexpected twists till the very end. A new little twist is waiting every time you think you have figured it all out. It is nice to have Detective Galileo back. If you like gripping mysteries that are more than cozy but are not outright violent or brutal, then you will want to spend more time with Professor Yukawa Aka, Detective Galileo. If you like crime procedurals and murder mysteries, then this is the right book for you. So this was my review of Silent Parade by Kiago Higoshino. 
Have you read this book or any other book by Kiago Hikushino? If yes, then do share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you want to see more reviews like this, then please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.